here's just a little bit of information for you. These uh, things you see in front of you now, that uh, MOD survival knife, and the uh, Colonel Chimp emblazoned pouch were gifted to me. Uh, that one by Ginger Bruce. This one by Mark K. Okay. Now I didn't expect any of this, but Ginger Bruce the other day said he was bored and he makes these dump pouches. You see? And like I said, you can see it's he's copying me logo on there. The logo actually was designed by Mark K, which is excellent. But when you open it, so it's got nice leather, a bit traditional, but you open the thing up and you open out your dump pouch. So your foraging pouch or whatever you like to call these things. And of course it's camo. It's got to be camo, hasn't it? I mean, look, I'm wearing camo. There's camo down there. Inside are two other bags. All right, you think, well, why do you want two bags inside? Well, these sacks are for separating whatever you forage. So if you've got tinder in there and then you decide to pick up some moss or some whatever you want to do, you can put it all in there without actually contaminating all the other stuff. Plus, of course, it keeps the inside of your pouch clean. So you can then not worry about it because, of course, it's attached to the leather thing and it's a bit difficult to watch, to wash, you see. So there we are. That is one gift from Ginger Bruce. Let me just show that logo again. Look at that. What a guy. And then, while I'm reeling from the shock of that gift, because, you know, the thought and the work that went into it is amazing. Thank you very much, Bruce. That is a top piece of kit. Mark is using this to chop up a tree basically there's, there's some dead fall here I've shown you that and you can see it and he said yeah I'll have a look at this one Dave and I said oh yeah look MOD survival blade nice and heavy you can see how thick that is if I put my thumb on there see how thick it's got to be what is that quarter of an inch three eighths I don't know something like that everyone knows what a survival knife is from the MOD blade made to last only this one if you look the handle has been reshaped and the there's a little cutout where the scales stick up above the metalwork to stop your hand sticking to it in cold weather and to give you a, a better grip in uh, wet weather. Well, of course, over here we don't need that. So the handles have been smoothed back. They are red wood handles and they match my ZP special. <laughs> Just purely by coincidence. So my knives all match. And they said, yeah, you can have that. We got it done for you. And Mark donated this to me. And I'm just blown away by the generosity, thanks to everyone who's done it. I mean, just, what can you do? I can't say a thing about it. So I'm now going to give this some loving and some attention, and I'm going to do my own thing to it. And that now sits in my collection of goodies given to me by very good friends. So there we are. And while I'm doing all this, look, they're all, they're all busy doing bushcrafty things. The dog thinks there's food, but he's, he's really dipped out. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on a sec. He's having the bushcraft popcorn. Let me just show you this. This bowl of bushcraft popcorn dun, 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 was made in the bushcraft popcorn maker. Two Poundland sieves. <laughs> Poundland right. sieves. White together on a stick. There you go, you see. Ingenuity by Dr. Bruce. Gingenuity. 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 Yeah, a bit of gingenuity going on. Yeah, there you go. Strong. Yeah, just on the fire there, and look at we've got the old fire stick support oh, yeah, over there. Heavy duty or what? And when we're not cooking, yeah. we will be uh, having that fire large. That's why we can remove all of this and we can have a nice big fire. Anyway, while we look at all the mess we make from carving spoons and things, barbecued popcorn, is it? Oh, hang on, I might wait and see this. If not, I'll cut this bit out of the video. Oh, oh have a word. Oh, because I've been near it. Popcorn's popped in the pot. It's popcorn. It's popcorn. It's Two ways of cooking popcorn in the you go. So if you fancy some popcorn in the woods, there you go. There's no reason why you can't. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.